Hi, I'm Katie, and today I'm going to talk about how to pronounce some of the words in the famous Harry Potter series. Um, because this is an inter this series is an international bestseller, uh, it has been translated into multiple languages. So I know that a lot of non-native English speakers are reading Harry Potter, or were reading them when they came out. Um, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter books are some of my absolute favorites, and I read them over and over again. So I thought it would be really fun to talk about how to pronounce some of the names and some of the words, because even as a native English speaker, some of them are kind of tricky, especially the names. And so if you're having a conversation about Harry Potter, it would be fun to know actually how to pronounce the names. Um, but by no means take my pronunciation as final on this. I've heard some of these words and names pronounced multiple different ways, and so as long as it's a close approximation, you're going to be fine. People who have read Harry Potter will know what you're talking about. Um, I thought I'd start first with the author's name herself. So it's funny, um, she says that uh, in the United States, people commonly refer to her name as rhyming with the word Howling. So I would say J.K. Rowling, and so I assumed that that's how she pronounces it. However, she says it rhymes more with Bowling, and she would pronounce her name J.K. Rowling. But apparently she doesn't actually care how people pronounce it. So if you were to actually meet her, which would be the most exciting thing I can actually think of, uh, she wouldn't care if you said Rowling or Rowling. So I thought that was funny. So let's start with just Harry Potter. It's easy enough. He lives with his aunt and uncle and cousin, the Dursleys. I've heard this pronounced with an S, like Dursley, but it's actually with a Z, so Dursleys. Next is Ronald Weasley. Weasley is pronounced the same way it looks. The next one is Hermione Granger. This one is a little bit tricky because you actually do pronounce the O. I always thought it was Hermione, but it's actually Hermione. Uh, so when you're talking about her name, that's how you pronounce it. Next is Albus Dumbledore, pronounced much the way it looks. The same with Sirius Black and Severus Snape. Now, I always had problems with this next one. I got Bellatrix, but her last name, I always thought was pronounced Lestrange, but it's actually Lestrange. So that one will throw you off a little bit. Next is Draco Malfoy. And next, his father, Lucius Malfoy. This looks like it could be pronounced Lucius or Lucius, but it is Lucius. Next, I have Rubeus Hagrid. It looks like it would be Rubius, which is how I always pronounced it, but it's actually intended to be said Rubeus. Next, Minerva McGonagall, Ginny Weasley. I've heard people pronounce this Jenny, Ginny, Ginny, Giny, but it's actually Ginny, like Jenny, but with an I instead of an E. Then Remus Lupin, then Neville Longbottom, and then Voldemort, which is, this is really interesting because until I did research into how to pronounce Voldemort, I always thought you pronounced the T at the end and it was Voldemort. And I think it might actually be said that way in the movies as well. However, it's intended to be pronounced Voldemort with a silent T. But again, if you say Voldemort or Voldemort, everyone is going to know who you're talking about, even though you really shouldn't be saying his name out loud, which you would know if you've read the Harry Potter books. So next I have listed the four Hogwarts houses. They're all pronounced the way they, they look, but I'm going to pronounce them just in case. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. I listed Gryffindor first because that's the house Harry Potter was placed in, and Slytherin last because anyone who's read the books or seen the movies knows that people who are not such nice people tend to end up here. So. And then the last part there are some words that occur throughout the books, they're kind of scattered around, and they're a little bit tricky. So, the first one is horcruxes. So, you actually do pronounce the X. 
So this is a really major part of the books, and if you don't know how to say it, you're going to feel kind of silly. So this is Horcruxes, and then Quidditch, which is the major wizarding sport, and Harry plays it, so it comes up all throughout the books. And it's again, it's Quidditch. Animagus which is someone who can transform into an animal. Now, it looks like it would be anime Gus, but it's actually anime Gus. The next is Bezoar, which is something that's found in the stomach of a goat, and it's said to cure most poisons. And I thought this one was a little bit tricky just because of the Z, but it actually is pronounced the way it's spelled, which is Bezoar. And the last word I have is pensive, and this is... Um, something that you use to store your memories outside of your own head. And I thought it was just a little bit tricky because if you don't know how this S-I-E-V-E -E is pronounced, you might think it's pensive, but it's actually pensive. And because these words uh, come up a lot throughout the books, I thought it was important to talk about their pronunciation. Obviously, I couldn't use all of the characters' names or words that are found throughout the Harry Potter books because they're far too numerous. However, I picked some of the more frequent ones that are scattered throughout the books, so when you are talking with a native English speaker or a non-native English speaker about Harry Potter, you have an idea about how to pronounce some of the more trickier names and things. So I hope you find this useful. Thank you for listening.